So hey guys, um, this is Dave, Dirt Bike Dave channel, and I got a question from a subscriber about how to do an oil change on this KO, and this will also be for any engine that has the NC250, so um, SSRs would, would be similar, or if not the same, and um, odd GPXs, the, the GPX300 is, I'm thinking is going to be pretty much the same, the bottom ends are the same, they're Zongshin engines, but to be specific, if you're unsure, it's an NC250 Zongshin engine. So let's get into it. So here are the tools that you're gonna need. You're going to need an, an oil pan, an oil catch can, you know, an oil catch pan. On this, I have a 17 millimeter six point socket, a 3H drive I'm using on this one. But 17 millimeter, you're going to need that. I have a T handle, 8 millimeter T handles. I love T handles for uh, the final. I'll show you when I'm final tightening for these. You don't want to over tighten them, so that's why I use T handles. Um, on this is a quarter inch drive with uh, 8 millimeter also, just to break loose the 8 millimeters as I need to. Pair of needle nose pliers. You're going to need those to pull the filter out. Um, a funnel with a pretty small end so that you can fill her back up with oil. And of course I have a, an impact wrench in case I need it to break loose any of the bolts. But not recommended really. I don't want to use them unless I absolutely have to. Yep, so that's it for the tools. You, you don't need a whole lot to, to do the job. Also, I have some, so over here you can see I have Rotella T4 is the oil I'm going to be using. And I also have a, uh, a measuring tube so that I can measure out the exact amount of oil that it takes to put back in the engine. So step one in this process is to get the 17 millimeter oil drain plug bolt off. It's the only bolt on the underside, and it's near the back towards the suspension. So you're going to have to break that loose. Okay, so I broke that loose. I also like to undo the, the drain cap, uh, sorry, the fill cap, so that it lets air out. It, help, it puts air behind the oil to help get more oil out. So I'm just going to take this off. This has a magnetic tip. So you should be able to see if there's any metal coming out. Yep. Get all that oil out. Of course you need to get yourself some racks. I'm gonna go grab some of them myself. Okay, while well that is uh, draining, I'm gonna move on to the next uh, next step here is you've got two plastic filters that also, um, you know, they filter oil and one of them's located right here and one is on the opposite side towards the back. So there's also these two on this engine, plastic with metal screen filters for oil also. And right here behind it is the paper filter location. Hopefully you can see it. Um, I'm going to break loose the plastic one. 17 millimeter, same as before on the bottom. Oh. Man, this is why I said it's good to have your impact every so often. So factory obviously put this on pretty tight. So we'll break it loose with this. Jesus. Don't put it back that tight, guys. You don't need to put it back that tight. So this is where your needle nose come in play. It's good to pull them out with these. And as you can see, it's just a plastic and metal screen and you'll be able to feel how it goes in there it, it to seat it right you'll feel it when it 
um, seats all the way. Clean this off a bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a plastic and metal uh, screen. These you need to clean with contact cleaner, which I'll do it. You know, I've got it in here now, but I'll clean that up. So obviously you can see there's a lot of oil in here still. It just keeps letting it drain. So we're going to go to the paper filter now. And it's two 8 millimeter bolts. And it's the one right in front of the brake lever. These are a little bit better. Yeah, they didn't go crazy with those. All right, my T handle here. Make it easy on myself. Be careful not to drop this in your oil. These are hard to get out once you do. All right. Okay, again with the, the needle nose pliers is good for this. Pull off the cap, let it drain out a little bit. Clean that off, set it aside. And inside of here, you can, um, there's a metal end. If you can't get it with your needle nose pliers, which I'm seeming to have a hard time. Oh, here we go. Wow, okay, so I bought this bike pre-owned. Someone has already worked on this and changed it out to a to a metal filter. So these are cleanable. They come with paper, so that's what you need to expect. And those are not reusable. But these metal these metal ones are reusable. You can clean them with contact cleaner. Or, and a little trick is if you have a hard time, if you can't get it necessarily with your uh, needle nose pliers, you can also use the magnetic end of the oil plug, the drain, the bottom drain plug. You can use the magnetic end, stick it in there and pull it out. That's, that's one trick I've seen somebody do before. I think it was uh, Jay Clark at Dirt Bike TV told me about that one. Shout out to you, Jay. All right. So, got that cleaned up. Okay, so on the opposite side is another one of these... Ugh, don't lose that. Is another one of these plastic and metal screens that go towards the front of the engine. Uh, I'm gonna pull it, I'm gonna clean up and pull that other side off. And that'll be kind of off camera. But I'll cut, I'll jump cut the video. All right, let's go to the other side. Is that 17? I'm going to clean them with contact cleaner, and then um, after I clean them, I'll you hit them again with WD-40.
Okay, so don't forget to uh, reinstall your oil drain plug from the bottom first. So let's do that. 17 millimeter. Make sure. All right, like I said, 17 millimeter, 3 eighths drive. I just, I tighten it all the way tight, like it won't go anymore, and then give it like a quarter turn, or an eighth of a turn, sorry, just about an eighth of a turn. You don't have to go any more than that. You don't want to over tighten it. And then you want to put back the filters, the big one and the little one. So remember the big one, the rubber, the rubber end goes into the engine. And you'll feel it, it, it bottoms out. So then you got your cap. It's the cap with the two, the two eight millimeter bolts. Make sure it's nice and clean on the end. So start the eight millimeters. And this is why I use the T handles. You can't really over tighten them. Well, you can, but don't do it. But <clears throat> Again, run them down, get them tight on both sides, go back and forth a couple times until you basically can't do it very much anymore. And then just like an eighth of an inch, uh, or like an eighth of a turn more, just like that. You don't have to go very much. And then just go back and check them. Yep. That's it. These don't have to be that tight. Don't get into a process of over tightening things. You can always go back and tighten something if it's loose, but you definitely can strip them out if you over tighten them. All right, so we're going to clean up the front one, which is the uh, metal screen with the, pla the plastic and metal screen. And they kind of plug into place. You'll feel it. They, on both ends, they have a uh, a rubber gasket. So you just push it in there till you feel it lock in. Yep, there it is. And then you want to try to center it in the cap. Make sure that it goes. There's it's hollow in the in the cap. So you want to get that in there. And. Let's go. Again, 17 millimeter. Six point is what I use. Let's crank it down until it gets hand tight. And got my ratchet. And again, just let it bottom out. You don't have to go far. And then just like an eighth of a turn after that. That's it. You don't have to go crazy. You don't want to over tighten these. Okay, and we'll do the same on the other side. So on the top of the cap, it says 1500 milliliters. So I have a measuring cup over there that I'm going to use. And I am going to use the biggest screwdriver I have. And I'm going to fill from this one over the clutch cover. Um, it's kind of hard to fill this because of the, the pipe. So we're going to use that one. I'm going to open that up. Yeah, 
let's get this one. And you could use either one of these to fill. Okay, that's a small hole. I'm gonna use a different funnel. So as you can see, um, I do it by measurement, by what it calls for. And it's gonna take me three of these to fill it up. For those of you who use quartz, it's it's a little less than two quarts, 1500 milliliters. All right, remove your funnel. Make sure to put on your oil cap again. These are hard when you have the pipe on. Never need to go any more than hand tight on these things. Just go hand tight as you can get it. That's good. Make sure you put the cap back on over the clutch basket. Screw it in. Clean up any residual oil. This doesn't have to be very tight. Nope. You don't want any oil leaking anywhere. Make sure you clean it all off real good. And you have a sight glass on this, and just want to make sure at, that it's uh, visible, that you can see oil in there. Um, I don't have the bike straight, so I'm going to put it straight and just check and see. There shouldn't be any kind of air gap. And she looks good. Full of oil. And that's it, that's an oil change for your KOK6R, your SSRs, and your GPXs that have this NC250 uh, bottom. There you go.